Let's talk about the pens that are so important to us, whether we are writing a shopping list, a love letter, a new manuscript, a poem, or planning out a day trip to the coast. These beautiful instruments so often give us the words that we want to find at the time when we need them. I'm going to go through some of my everyday carriers here today and just talk about the history of each of the pens for me and why I find them so special and why they're so important for me. The very first on this list is my Cross Century Biro. I was given this when I was 13 years old, so many moons ago, for those of you who have noticed. But it is such a beautiful pen. For me, having my first jobs in the 80s and the 90s, this was the quintessential pen in an office environment. It is a completely gorgeous pen. This one has got lots of bumps and marks on it. I've dropped it before at home and driven over it in the past. I have used it to force open a door. Cross were good enough to replace this first point here of the barrel. I have lots of plastic roller balls like these, which are very good and I buy them by the box. But it's the cross pen that I come back to again and again and again. If I have a daily carry that is a biro, it's this cross century. It's classic, it's reliable, and I absolutely love it. Another pen that I adore, and it, and it is a daily carry for me, is this Faber-Castell fountain pen. The one I use is on the fine nib, and I absolutely adore it. It's very cheap, very reliable. It comes with one refill in the barrel and another one that I carry in the base and it's so adaptable and so usable. If I were to lose this pen, I would not worry at all because it's such a gorgeous item. I would go straight to the stationery department at Salts Mill in West Yorkshire and buy myself another one. They are a delight. You can get them in a variety of colours. I've got this one in the green and I've got another one somewhere in the house in a fire hydrant red. It's a great pen with a beautiful nib. The nib feels as though it's built of indestructible steel and it's so sharp it would feel as if I could actually throw it at a dartboard and hit the double 20. Another pen for me that is a daily user or an everyday carry or an EDC as some people seem to call them these days is this one. It's a Schaefer, it's a Targa and it's from the late 1980s. I had this one when I went to university. It's a beautiful pen. About five years ago I dropped it very badly onto a concrete surface, the two aspects of the nib were forced apart and one of them was very badly twisted. I put the pen to the side for years and then last year I suddenly thought why don't I see if somebody can replace it and I sent it to Andy the pen guy in Wales and I crossed my fingers and sent it to him hoping he could do something with it. Miraculously he sent it back a week later the same nib because it's very difficult to get hold of these now after 30 years. Completely repaired and it writes like a dream. I think there are several reasons I love this pen. It's an elegant pen, it's quite slim. Compared, for example, to my AT Cross & Co Townsend fountain pen or to the Creeks & Creeks pen, the Schaefer Target is really quite elegant. This one is an easy carry in a jacket pocket but it's also very comfortable in a shirt pocket if I'm outside of the house and writing in the open air at a coffee shop. Everybody's going to recognise this one. It's the Lamy Safari. This pen I've had more than 10 years. I've had it in a couple of colours. The other one I've had and I've mislaid it somewhere in the house is in a turquoise, which I really like. But this one in the navy blue, it's a beautiful pen. This one only takes one cartridge. The Lamy cartridges are quite unique. They're not industry generic, they're specific to Lamy. Let's talk about this beautiful pen. It cost me the equivalent of five euros a lifetime ago in Northern Italy. I bought this at the airport in Turin. I'd gone there to talk at a conference about my time with Carlos Castaneda in the States back in the 1980s. And I bought this pen as a little treat to myself for having enjoyed the weekend with the different participants. Miraculously, this pen still writes as well now as it did all that time ago. It has a beautiful silver and gold nib. 
and it weighs almost nothing. I don't know what it's made of, it's the lightest fountain pen I have. And it takes two of the completely standard short stub cartridges, one which goes in the barrel body, and that one of course forces the primary cartridge into the front of the pen. But it writes gorgeously. When I've finished a manuscript, there is no greater pleasure than going to the local photocopy shop with a USB stick, having them give me a complete printout of the manuscript, and sitting down for several afternoons in a local coffee shop. And this is the pen that I do my amendment edits with. I use several pens. I always have a red pen for the strikeouts within the manuscript and then a black pen for the amendments that might be new words in a sentence or several sentences to a revised paragraph. And I will either use something like the Pentel Feel It, which is a superb click point biro, which I really like, or I will take my Creeks and Creeks fountain pen and sit with a coffee and do the manuscript edit. As a gorgeous fountain pen, this is far and away my most used everyday carry they're not in production anymore, but you can still buy them often in the original packaging on various online platforms and they're worth it. Whether it costs you 10 or 15 or 20 euros, these are worth getting hold of because the quality of the nib and the strength of the nib is superb. So there we have it, four of my, four of my most regularly used pens. A Lamy Safari, a Targa by Schaefer, my schoolboy cross century biro and my more than 25 year old creeks and creeks fountain pen but i want to include one more this is an everyday pen it's not an everyday carry but i use this very regularly in the house when i'm working by hand and creating notes for a new manuscript or an idea and very often when i'm writing a letter this is the pen i would use for that letter or a handwritten card. This pen, more than any other, to me represents the lifestyle and effort involved in being a writer. My very first book was written for a big publishing house called The Financial Times, and it was about my experience being a small family landlord buying and managing properties in provincial towns in northern England. When my book came out describing that process and the experience that we've been through over a period of years, this is the pen that my wife bought me as a gift and as a thank you for what we were doing as a family. It's quite a heavy pen, it's rolled gold. This one was made in Ireland rather than in China as some factories produce them now. But it's a stunning pen, easy to get hold of online on various platforms. This is a filled gold pen with a medium nib. It has some heft to it. The barrel, as I've referred to earlier in the video, is quite broad, but it's incredibly comfortable in the hand. This, this, one, this one literally just fits so easily between my thumb and my index finger, and I rest it on the middle finger, and the ink flows so beautifully from this pen. If you can get hold of one of these, I really recommend it. The Townsend is a gorgeous pen, AT Cross & Co, if you're listening, Please consider remaking these to this standard again because they are superb. The gold to it has an almost orange hue compared to the rolled gold of the Cross Century from my childhood. So the Cross Townsend wins for sheer luxury and status of the quality of an item of penmanship and I'm delighted to have it. The Lamy is broad and comfortable and a strong writing instrument and you have no fear of losing it if you were to go outside with it and write in a library or a coffee shop or a park bench. It's a superb pen and it's incredibly reliable. The Targa by Schaefer for sheer design is such an elegant pen. And with that inset silver metalwork creating the nib of the pen, it's just a stunner. But if you tie one arm behind my back and tell me that I've got to choose one pen, it's the Creeks and Creeks. It's pretty, it's lightweight, it's very durable, it's got a superb writing nib. The other lovely thing about this Creeks and Creeks pen is that when I'm out and about and I'm writing in a public space and I'm using a nice notebook or an open journal, this is the pen that people comment on the most. It gets a lot of compliments 
and people ask where they can get one and the history of the pen, more so than any of the others. But this isn't a competition, it's about what I enjoy writing with the most. And this is my daily go-to for using a fountain pen. What do you like writing with? What are your favourite pens? Why do you like them? What's the story behind some of your pens? It's often the story of our own pens has nothing to do with the manufacturer, but it's all about where we bought them, how we use them, what people might think of one of our pens, and special memories that we attach to the regular use and the historic use of those items in our collection. One of the greatest advantages to writers is that we can build a collection of beautiful things that we can work with on a regular basis and we get to choose every day which or which of several we might take with us out and about as we head off to our places of work or our places of creativity. Wherever you are in the world today and whatever your writing implement of choice is, happy writing.